Artists, I'd like to introduce you to a very famous abstract artist from Australia. His name is Ken Dunn. You're probably wondering, who is Ken Dunn? Here is some information from his life. Ken Dunn was born in 1940 in Sydney, Australia. He studied at the National Art School there in Australia beginning at the age of 14. He began a very successful design company. At 40 though, he decided he wanted to pursue his greatest love of painting full time. He ended up being equally successful as a painter, and he is now considered a very prolific artist known all over the world for his painting and design. What does Ken Dunn create? Here is a mini gallery of some of his work. Ken Dunn's work often relates to his experiences in Sydney, Australia. What Australian landmarks appear in these artworks you see pictured below? Ken Dunn's work also connects to memorable experiences he has in Australia, including snorkeling trips to the Great Barrier Reef. How does this artist represent those experiences? Ken Dunn is most known for teaching abstract art. How can his art inform our understanding about abstract art? Well, abstract art is a kind of art that does not attempt to accurately represent real life. Instead, it explores real life experience, feelings, and ideas through elements of art, such as line, shape, form, and color. There is a spectrum from realism to abstraction that we're going to talk about more with this project. And you can see that spectrum here in Theo Van Dusburg's work created in 1916. Artists can create very realistic art and they can also start to deconstruct that realism to create something that focuses more on the elements of art. Ken Dunn said this about his work. In the times in which we live, it is far too restricting to say that art can only be found in art galleries and does not touch people's everyday lives. I want to use any means that are necessary to communicate to people what I feel about things. There are no rules, and if there are rules, then you may as well break them. Let's take a look at these three pieces from Ken Dunn. How does he use abstraction? Now that we've learned about Ken Dunn, let's create some abstract art together. 